I made a video last year in which I told about Google Summer of Code, what all things you need to do and how can you become a part of Google Summer of Code and get that exposure of making some great project, some open source project contributing to open source and gaining an amazing stipend amount that Google gives. So each and everything was discussed in that video. If you are new, you haven't watched that video, make sure you watch that video. In this video, we will be talking about if you are a beginner, if you are an intermediate, if even if you are a pro. What all things you should start looking for right now, which all organizations should look forward to, how to write that proposal. In this video, we'll talk about what all things you need to keep in mind while preparing that proposal and how can you exactly get to those organizations and get to contribute and get selected for Google Summer of Code. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more such amazing content. So the overall intent of this video is how to GSOC. So Google Summer of Code, as we have already uh, talked about, it's basically a proposal decoded video in which we'll talk about how, what and when to write that proposal. There was a previous video in which we have talked about, we have explained about the scope of Google Summer of Code, what all things you need to do, how to do timelines, type and everything is there. So you go and watch that video. So as to understand about Google Summer of Code, when I say specifically this video, we'll talk about proposals, how to write that proposal, some sample proposals, I'll show how to make your own proposals in that format. So each and everything we are going to discuss, what is Google Summer of Code? In brief, it's an open source mentorship program through which you get a chance to contribute to open source, build some awesome projects, enhance your development skills and gain that star point in your resume that will help you land job offers as well as internships with some of the amazing startups who prioritize GSOC over other things, right? So there are multiple organizations, proposals and how to get selected, good stipend and a great resume pointer you get once you are selected for GSOC. So the intent of this video is how to GSOC, right? Who can try or who should try? So first year, second year, third year candidates, although third year people would have their placements coming very, very soon. But if you're passionate about open source, this can be a good opportunity. First year, second year, I would say definitely you should try out. Even if you don't have that exposure, you'll get that exposure. You don't know anything. Just apply for this year. You will get an understanding and you will have a better perspective when you will be applying for the next year. It is open for working professionals also like uh, last year, last year, Google summer of code, they changed their guidelines that working professionals can also take part in Google summer of code. So yes, you can also be a part if you want to do something apart from your day to day job. So what should you know before starting? So th there is like everybody asks about what are the prerequisites before starting with Google summer of code. So there can be different perspectives to this. You are entirely a beginner. You have some basic fundamental knowledge of programming languages, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, front end, or you're a pro, you have built some cool projects, awesome projects, you have done some internships and now you want to get into Google Summer of Code. So for somebody who's entirely a beginner who don't know how to code, very basic bhi nahi aate, so for you, it is good to understand one programming language, have an understanding of one programming language and look towards the projects which have that programming language. We'll talk about it in the later uh, half of the video. Basic fundamentals of uh, programming. So if you are aware of basic fundamentals of programming, you know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you have done some front end projects or you have like you have an exposure to Python, you have done some projects in machine learning, basic implementation of some of the algorithms of machine learning. So then also there might be some projects for you. So you can be a perfect fit. You never know when you get selected. If you are a pro, you have already built some content. So your proposal should matter because you have already done a lot of stuff and you would definitely be able to contribute uh, to the organization that you chose for. So for you, this is kind of a golden opportunity, even for somebody who has basic fundamentals and who is looking forward to work hard for getting that project done for you also it's a good part so this video has been supported by next level next level is a platform through which you can not only upskill yourselves but you get a chance to get job opportunities at multiple different companies it's your own professional career profile that can be very important to crack those job opportunities how it works is you need to go to the platform you need to give some coding competitions as soon as you give coding competitions your rating gets better the more the number of coding competitions better is your rating better is your rating you unlock more job opportunities so you can do this along with your friends multiple different friends who are in the same domain and they also wish to do that a lot of companies have already partnered with next level when it comes to service based companies like TCS Infosys or some product based startups are also there. You can invite more number of friends and you can give these coding competitions together. Also the waitlist for this is currently open and I am currently at number 148. You can check out the link in the description below through which you will download and fill in the invite code that is there. I have written 
make sure you do fill it that the more the number of friends you refer to this platform you get ahead in the waitlist for this platform so you can definitely refer more of your friends currently it's available only on play store but soon an ios version is also going to come so make sure you do check it out and download it right now now let's move on to the video opportunity next how to select organizations for gsoc there are multiple different organizations the list for this year will be released soon which all organizations are participating but yes which all organizations have participated in the last year almost all of them will be there there will be some new organization who will be joining google summer of code this year that list would be released very very soon you can check out the link in the bio if you are watching it right now and uh, maybe for when you are watching this video the list has already been released but when this video will be coming the list is not yet released so now how to choose which organizations to work what well, there are 200s of organizations that participate in gsoc every year so you know you need to click on that link there'll be a lot of organization page that you will be seeing right from all of those organizations you need to click on the organization page let's say you go and see what that organization does basics of that organization and after that go through its description try taking down notes ki what this organization name and this does this on a piece of paper second technologies and keywords written matlab at the side of the uh, organization there will be specific mention of technologies that the organization has been working upon whether that organization is working upon ruby on rails whether it's working on go c++ or they are working upon javascript or python so technology stack would be written so if you have exposure already in some of that technology stack so you are already good to do, go ahead with the same right so you can choose you can shortlist some organizations based upon your favorable tech stack once that is done now you need to view project some of the previous projects that the that the organization has worked upon or previous gsoc that they have participated in from there you can get an idea yes i can participate in uh, this particular competition and i'll uh, i can participate in this particular project and these are the kind of project that this organization does then connect with suitable people on social media be it linkedin be it uh, any other platform from where you can get an understanding of what type of work is to be done through that organization you can go on linkedin you can type in the keywords like gsoc that name of the organization you will find multiple people from india from uh, all across the world who would have done this right next is once you view those projects you get an understanding about the organization now join the organization slack mailer or chat groups there are multi like uh, below that only there will be three options of joining a mailing group joining a chat joining a, a slack group where all the members of that organization who are contributing to the organization are present now you go you join their slack channel you try introducing yourself that you wish to contribute to this project and give a brief about what all you have been doing so so that everyone is aware and everyone is on the same page and you get to see what type of questions are coming what what are the kind of discussion that group is having and how to proceed with the same if you have any doubts you have any queries make sure you do your ground work and then only go and ask next is 5 to 7 organization matlab it's not that you should go ahead with all the organization shortlist 5 to 7 organization based on the criteria that i have told you start looking out for issues and how can you contribute matlab you need to look out for the projects which all issues they might be facing and how can you be a part of it how can you contribute to those so you need to show your enthusiasm you need to show ki yes you are definitely going to contribute to this kind of a project do some research already and look out for some help in case of issues as an ye ki you just go ahead and start asking questions directly do your ground work if you if you'll not do that ground work uh, it doesn't show the, that you have done some uh, that you are really very passionate so you try things on your own then if you face any problem go ahead and ask people in the community they are very very helpful mentors mentees who, uh, previous uh, like those who have done gsoc in the previous year in the same organization they those people are very very helpful definitely you'll get support if you are a beginner right try to see how can you contribute and raise prs after you have solved or solved matlab once you uh, uh, get hold of some issue you try solving it and raise and raise a pr in the name of that organization if that pr gets accepted so as many as prs uh, get uh, get starts getting accepted for that organization there are higher chances that yes this is a potential candidate who can come up for gsoc this year and who can contribute to our projects so that's a very very highlight point the number of contributions do you make it's very very crucial that you contribute to that organizations prior leave before applying for gsoc and writing that proposal once you do that finalize finalizing the organization that is done the last thing is how you to how should you submit the proposal and proposal is very very important it's said that if you will not present what you know then it's of no use right so the presentation on how you have written that proposal it also matters the most people say that pr proposal doesn't matter even if you have made a lot of contributions you are directly selected no this doesn't happen 
you still have to write that proposal and that proposal should be very very effective you have worked so hard you have raised so many prs you have contributed a lot then why not a good proposal right so how to write that proposal what all things should be covered in that proposal well let's go and see on uh, the website of uh, gsoc only how they propose you to write a proposal you can see writing a proposal so the basics format uh, where you need to check out whether you are eligible for this competition or not then uh, figure out how many hours of uh, week you would be able to contribute everything it's basics you can read it out what are the elements of a quality proposal what all things you need to do there will be a name of name and contact information which time zone you are based out of which college you are doing uh, you are in your which year of college what all things you have done right then title of your project it should be something unique something out of the box right so this is basically something that's the eye catcher that can help somebody know ki yes uh, it can be a good project based upon your title so make sure you have a catchy title synopsis basically a short brief about what all things you are going to do because somebody would read your proposal only when he has that interesting synopsis so this synopsis is very very important benefits to the community how can your project help community how can your project uh be useful for the organization you will be working upon deliverables what all things are you going to contribute how can you contribute to the project uh, like uh, this should include your brief clear work breakdown structure with milestones and deadlines like uh, when i say deadlines and milestones you need to give a time frame let's say for 3 months for 2 months you will be doing these many things in these weeks like first week should be contributed to the learning part or understanding things second week would be contributed to initial raising initial prs based upon previous issues you have solved so all these things you need to note it down you need to give them a framework why should they select you because you have a clear cut plan this is what i am going to follow to complete this project right this these deliverables are very important i'll show you some samples where you can understand ki how to write all this related work if you have already done some previous work previous projects based upon the same type of uh, technology same kind of work then also that is very very useful biographical information keep your personal info brief be sure to communicate uh, with the you should tell about yourself your geography from where you are your work experience or open source experience or education so that they can get a uh, hands on uh, like they can know about you whether you are capable enough or uh, you are really interested right so biographical information is also uh, necessary to follow our rules submit a proposal early yes uh, dog as early as you submit the proposal there are higher chances of you getting shortlisted outside the project list so if there are some projects which are not already listed by the organization and you come up with a new project idea it's a very very good uh, option or a very good very good opportunity that your project is going to be selected so and it should be a unique project that keeping that thing in mind so this is what all things are there in the proposal and how should you write i'll give some of the sample uh, proposals in the description this is something that i got on internet people have made some brilliant resumes i was going through some of them so uh, these proposals so you can uh, get hold of some of these pro proposals this proposal is written by abhinandan sharma so it was available openly open source so a huge shout out to abhinandan sharma for coming up with this and helping people out there so the name is abhinandan sharma he this is the about me section where you need to tell about your geography your details code contribution when i say code contribution uh, previous pull request that you have made to that organization you should mention about them with the dates the more the number of contributions higher are your chances that yes you are more interested in this project project information project abstract this is abstract and synopsis is basically how uh, are you going to take ahead this project and what all things are necessary a brief about that project right after that which of the published task are you interested in what do you plan to do so which of these tasks are you interested in what do you plan to do so this basically tells you about the timeline of uh, the entire project like uh, how you will be able to contribute to this project project plan you need to explain what all things are there in a pro uh, in your project it and it's not only theoretical information you need to give a proper structure to your project uh, like when when how we plan a sprint right in the same way you need to plan out what all things you need to do at what time how you will be doing whose help you will be taking which all resources you will be following and so on so uh, you need to mention about everything make sure you do add some uh, uh, pictures add some uh, graphics add some uh, flow diagrams flow charts explaining your approach rather than just putting out everything on text that shows that you are very motivated you have done a lot of research and you are really interested in these kind of projects so yeah this like he has made a great presentation these flow charts shows that he has done something which all technologies he will be using he'll be hosting it on something 
some code snippets if you have any you can use that uh yeah so like this is the kind of proposal and it should not be a very small or very brief proposal it should be a detailed proposal telling your telling each and every plan scheduled deliverables how early you will be able to finish that project and how would like how much help you would require from mentors everything you need to tell now timeline he has mentioned week one he'll be doing this week two week three week four what will be the output of that week uh, and so on so this is something uh, great previous experiences you should mention about with, with, like, which all technology you are interested in which all technologies you have worked upon is worked upon blockchain ui ux gaming engines like if you are selected for gsoc so what are your earlier commitments whether you are doing some internship or would you be able to give time for gsoc so that is also very very necessary make sure you do write about that also so this is a sample proposal i'll attach some of the more sample proposals that i found good and would be helpful for you i hope this video would have cleared a lot of points how to write a good proposal does it actually matter yes format of the proposal they have already mentioned what all things you need to cover so make sure you cover all those things to cover i have told you in the uh, in the screen share that i've shown you sample proposals are there in the description you can check them out and make your resume accordingly only text doesn't work you need to show some pictures you need to show some crosswords you need to show some flow charts on how you will be taking ahead this project with along with timelines and clear cut goals and description of those goals timeline is very important to mention and cover so this was all for this particular video i hope you people enjoyed watching this video and you're all set to apply for google summer of code if you have not already also if you're new to this channel make sure you do hit that subscribe button like this video this motivates me to make more such videos for you i'll be coming up with more such amazing content make sure you do hit that like button also do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts any queries i'll be able to help you with i'll come up with the answers to all the queries all the questions in the comment section see you in some other video till then all the best good luck bye